design and fabrication of welded components are governed by documents known as codes and standards. This document also known as guides, recommended practice, regulations, rules and also specifications. The purpose of this document is to have a uniform way to approach welding that reflects the best practices developed and proven to work over time. These documents are often specified by end user, or purchaser, or customer, or safety authorities. It is a contractual agreement in order to control the characteristic of the welded fabrication that may affect its service requirement. In general, welding codes and standard covers five main aspects which are first is the scopes and general requirements that provide a description of the intended use and limitations of the document. Second is the design aspect, which may contain minimum requirement for the design of specific welded connection. The codes and standard also covers the qualification aspect of the welding procedure and the welding personnel. And at the same time, codes and standards covers the fabrication method and inspection aspect that of course will automatically include the acceptance criteria and procedures for non-destructive testing. There are four most common codes and standards. They are from American Society of Mechanical Engineers or ASME, American Welding Society AWS, American Petroleum Institute API, and also from British Standard. The codes established by these organizations are then adopted worldwide. Each organization produces multiple codes. ASME itself has approximately 600 consensus standards and codes developed by over 100 committees. In general, ASME codes and standard addresses performance test code, standardization safety, nuclear technology and pressure technology and more. The most common code used is ASME Boiler and Pressure Vessel Section 9. ASME Section 9 covers welding procedure qualification and welding personnel qualification. AWS, on the other hand, is governing the structural welding and this organization has more than 350 welding codes, procedures, practices and standards. The most popular standard is AWS D1.1 that applies to steels with a thickness of 1 over 8 inch or more. The areas covered in AWS D1.1 are the design of welded connections, pre-qualification of WPS, qualification of procedures and welding personnel, fabrication and erection requirements, inspection, start welding and strengthening and repairing existing structures. American Petroleum Institute is a national trade association that speaks for all aspects of the US oil and natural gas industries. Common standards by this organization is API 1104 that pertains area of compression, pumping, and transmission of crude petroleum, petroleum products, fuel gases, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen, and where applicable covers welding on distribution systems. It also, it also includes the procedures and acceptance standards for radiographic magnetic particle 
liquid penetrant and ultrasonic testing. In summary, these codes and standards may be arranged into its specific application and intended use. If the job is concerned on the preservation, then the suggested code to qualify the procedure is ESME Section 9. Same goes to the welder qualification, which is ESME Section 9. Similarly, if the job is concerning on the piping work, the code used for procedure qualification is ESME Section 9 and so does for welder qualification. And for storage tanks, ESME Section 9 covers the welder qualification. When we look into the structural fabrication, then comes AWS D1.1 that covers all aspects from the application standard procedure, qualification, and welder qualification. And of course, there are many more standards that may be used as the alternative to these common codes and standards subjected to request of the end user, or purchaser, or customer, or safety authorities.